what is going on you guys i hope y'all are having a good day today is sunday i felt like i had to drop a nice little video for you guys um you guys seem to really love the video with the surprise uh lift kit i picked up um i'm excited as much of you as many as 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 excited as you guys are i'm just as excited um we got a lot of things to do before we get the lift kit put on but today's video is going to be a little reflection okay so i figured it's been i've been uh this month january made two years on youtube and i'm thinking about it looking back and i'm reflecting and i'm like man i've done a lot of stuff to the truck you know looking back from when i first started the channel and everything so what better way to celebrate the channel you know two-year anniversary you know things we got coming up with the channel than to see some of my old content uh once again none of this would even be possible if it wasn't for you guys um i have an amazing fan base i love my fan base i wouldn't trade you guys for nobody in the world i don't care if they were like hey we'll give you a hundred thousand subscribers right now if you give us your fans i'd be like fuck off straight up because i i i watch other channels and i do see some comments and stuff that goes on in there and it's, and it's pretty stupid but I, I i just we never have that problem on my channel like if one person does say something stupid, like, 20 motherfuckers will jump his ass in the comment section. Like, it, you guys are legit. You're badass. I love you all. Um, give this video a thumbs up because you guys might see some things on this video that you've never seen uh, before on the channel. And, by the way, every video that you're going to see here in a second, I have on the channel. So, if you saw something and you're like, oh, shit, I didn't know he installed an intercooler. Let me see that. You can go back in the channel and you can check it out, okay? So, until next time, you guys. Enjoy the video, sit back, get you something to drink, sip on, and then I'll see y'all later. What is going on, people? What's up, YouTube? What is up, Diesel Community? What is up, everybody? Uh, real quick, if you're new to this channel, this is the intro video and a little explanation of what is going on with everything. All right. So, you guys already know me. My name is Cameron. Uh, I already have a current YouTube channel, uh, Cam Cummins 92. That channel is still going to stay up. This is just, that channel is going to be for my other project I got going on, my Buick Riviera. Um, I'm going to dedicate that channel solely to that to that cause. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I wanted to do another channel for my 2008 uh, Dodge Ram 2500 Cummins. Because Yo, yo, YouTube, I'm back. All right, so check it out. I'm going to do a walk around first and let you guys see what, what we're working with. So this is my 2008 Dodge, because it was still called Dodge back then, 2500 Cummins, okay, 6.7. Uh, I've had it since December of 2016, and I've had nothing but praises for this truck. It is an amazing truck. Uh, I love this truck so much. This is my baby, my pride and joy, next to my Buick project in there. But this one comes first, because she's my everyday driver. Uh, this is my baby. She's extremely dirty right now. Um, I'm gonna wash her this weekend, as long as it doesn't rain. But I love this truck to death. Um, it's been nothing but a good truck to me. And, you know, I feel like I have the stuff that I'm doing, I can put it out there for you guys to see and to enjoy. Yep, that's right. It already has an axle dump, along with a DPF delete. I did all that already, okay? Uh, got my little stickers back there. What's up, YouTube? I'm back today with a new video for the truck. Uh, it's a simple mod. If you guys are following Instagram, and if you're not, you're missing out big time. Uh, Instagram is the same as the YouTube name. Uh, what? <laughs> Everything Diesel. So, with that being said, today's mod is a quick mod. Uh, I'm doing it because it needs to get done. It's going to be a CCV, CCV delete. I got my stuff. I got my grinder. And I got my goggles on. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and show you guys the innards. about or not even talking about we're doing stuff today all right so today what we're doing is we're doing a grid heater delete on the 67 along with an intake manifold from pusher intake so time lapse and all that good stuff we got all the fuel lines back on I had to go get my headlamp because it started getting dark all of them are back on though to say the least 
and it looks freaking fantastic. Okay. Um, I cranked it up. When you first go to start it, um, it's gonna you're gonna have to hold the key for a while, but just because it's building building up that injection pressure, and it's gonna take a while. So don't think you something broken if it doesn't start up right away. It came out good. I don't know. I can't stop saying it. So I'm gonna stop blabbing, and I'm gonna show y'all the end product. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so I went ahead and took him out. That is the old one. Notice how it has that little relief valve up top, and this is just solid flat. Okay, uh, I think it's like billet aluminum or something like that. Uh, this is what it looks like over here, it's taken out already. So we're gonna get the new one in. It's actually warm out here today, so I'm sweating. But we're gonna get this on. I just wanted to show you guys a side by side comparison of of them, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Tanks in, strapped up. Uh, I connected the first line. Uh, this is going to be the return line from the uh, air dog itself. So the air dog return, put the QD on. I cut the measure. Uh, I recommend connecting the line on the tank side for the return first and then installing the tank because it's going to make it way easier to cut it, measure and all that good stuff. Um, This is it right here. I went ahead and took it out the box. Uh, right off the bat, this thing is massive. It is, and it's heavy. It's about, I'd say it's about 50, 55 pounds. This thing, Mishimoto intercooler is installed. Uh, I didn't put the shroud back on right here because I don't really care, but I am going to put it on, but I didn't put it on right now because uh, I'm going to eventually take it off for that clamp. Ooh, yeah. I need to go ahead and take this off. That's that serial number. Yeah, so. That's pretty much it. Uh, I don't think it came out horrible. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. I would not waste my money on it. So, yeah. <laughs> Man, fuck that shit. No, I'm just kidding. I love this shit. Oh my goodness. It, it came out amazing. Um, highly recommend it. Do 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 it. Okay. Don't pay. Don't pay. Uh. Oh man. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can hit that up real quick. I got a little weird little white spot. Okay, it's good. Alright, you guys, get ready for this, okay? Ooh. Whoa. Uh oh, uh oh. And we got them. That's it. That's it, boys. Okay. Boost. Uh oh. All right, what's that? Fuel pressure? Okay, fuel pressure is sitting at about, uh, let's see if we can get a focus. Fuel pressure is, it looks like 17-ish, 16 and a half PSI. Let me know if you guys, let me know if that's uh, right. Is the moment. <laughs> All right, I think that's a little close. All right, you guys, this is it. Man, I hope you guys are digging it. Um, This is it, man. This is it right here. I'm so excited for this right now. Uh, so this is the, this. these are amp all-terrains. Um, apparently this is like a new style tire. This was, this tire was actually, I did some research. This tire was at SEMA 2016, so two years ago. So it's, a, it's a still a new tire. 60,000 mile warranty on the tire, so. I feel pretty confident about them. Uh, I never really heard of them before. Amp Terra Grappliers. 
Uh, if you guys have any reviews on them, let me know. I'm not anticipating them being any Cooper SSTs or Nittos or whatever the other ones are called, but they look like they're good tires. Guys, this is it. This is my baby, okay? Is she done? No, she's not done. Is the lift done? Yes, the lift is done. Um, rough Country, 5-inch lift. Uh, drop brackets for the original Control Arms factory. And this is it. Um, threw the tires on last night. It was about 11 o'clock, 11.30. Uh, you guys saw the last, if you watched the last video, you guys knew that I installed the front side of the suspension. Got that done. Um, it came out amazing. I'm talking... I'm happy with the with the results I've got, and one of the things, and I know it's, it hasn't been a lot or a long a long time, but one of the things I had to fear was was that these coils compressing and, and you know going up and down was going to cause the paint to crack and split and stuff, but it has not. Um, this is engine enamel paint, and I will show you guys what I did exactly for that. I actually have a video way back last week when I was painting them that I'm going to edit and put out for you guys. So if you guys want to paint your uh, springs or control arms, I mean, people ask me. I'm, I've been getting asked if this is, if, you know, if that uh, is a powder coat, and it's not. It really isn't. It's a, uh, it's an engine enamel paint. Uh, three coats of paint, three coats of clear. I let it sit for a couple days, and that's the end results okay I did the coils I did the shocks and I did the dual stabilizers okay and I'm gonna work my way around everything so I'll be able to hit everything up but this is it last night we went ahead and threw the tires on we finished up the front end um, man look at that we got us a Cummins right here whoa well Y'all, the sun's going down. It's about 8.15-ish, 8.30 right now. Let me know what y'all think, okay? Y'all see what I was talking about with the with the low light setting? All right, so these aren't bright um, LED puddle lights, okay? You can't even, even at dark pitch black, you can't see, you, you can barely see them on the ground. So, for me, that's now, they've now become an aesthetic. So, I mean, it's for looks now. And, I mean, I like it. I mean, eventually they're gonna burn out and when they do I'm just gonna leave them so let me know what y'all think the only reason why I'm not putting the tow mirrors down is because these just got painted not even 48 hours ago so and we are going to tune the third gen Cummins I'm so excited oh man I've been waiting for this all day This is the moment. Uh, we're done. I get a plugged up the thing right now, so we are going to see what happens. Okay. Okie dokie. So I don't know. I don't remember what uh, head stud you guys seen, but I have a total of one, two, three. I have six studs left to put in. Um, you can see back there, you can see that one behind the wire loom, it's, uh, standing up uh, right there. I haven't ran her down all the way. I've probably been out here for about four, four hours and I've been putting all of these in and it takes so long. Uh, it is a time consuming job. I don't feel like wasting my whole time out here doing this today. Not wasting my time, but you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like being out here the entire time. Uh, as you guys know. Good man. We're good. The downpipe's not hooked up to the exhaust. A lot of things different right we got new tires I'm gonna address that we got a 
pop a, you call it what you want to call it. I call it a daddy shell. I got I got the I got the grandpa shell, daddy shell. Uh we got new tires. I already said that new tires. Uh we come up in here. Suspension. We got a two and a half inch leveling puck. I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna you guys are gonna kind of connect the pieces on why I did that. Uh and by the way, I'm going to be having a review on all of this stuff. Uh it's not, you know, you will not be left on any questions put it like that uh we come down here in the front we have heavy duty with heim joints crossover steering okay replacing the garbage shitty quality stock dodge t steering y steering i'm telling you right now you want a final solution to your steering this is it uh i'll also be making a review video on this uh the guy who hooks it up uh, he has a company based out of Idaho. Uh, I'm going to talk about his company in another video because me and him have a awesome partnership going on, and I, I that's probably gonna be my next video because I, I gotta get that info out to you guys. Um, for all my third gen bubbles, you guys are gonna fall in love with this guy. You guys are gonna drive him crazy because of the amount of orders you're gonna probably want to put in with this guy. Um, oh my god, I cannot get over this camera. I'm sorry, you guys. Anyways. All installed and torqued down, tightened. She is looking good. And when I went up to my steering wheel, I felt the steering wheel. The steering wheel felt good, nice and tight. Now nah, nah. it looks loose right now, but let's get it. Tighten the adjuster bolt some more. All right, you guys. So we're driving in the truck now. I got my wife recording me just give you guys a, uh, a real life experience of what the track bar feels like driving. Uh, so if you look at the steering wheel, I really need an alignment bad. Hopefully I can get one Saturday. Um, I'm, I want to get one ASAP, but I'm just driving up the street, so I'm not too worried about it uh, in terms of damaging anything. I haven't drove the truck. I've only drove, drove the truck three times since I've done everything. So right now, got to go ahead and get the windows tinted out I'm gonna get I'm gonna see about getting them tinted tomorrow if not maybe sometime in the near future get the windows tinted smoked out completely I don't want no no one to be able to see in there I gotta clean it um, it look real hazy right now because oh they are There's stuff on it um so yeah I picked that stuff up but man does she look good please comment down below and let me know how you feel because I'm digging it right now man with the windows I kind of want to go darker on my truck windshield on my truck tent right now, man. Shoot. Because this heat is real. Tomorrow, be on the lookout for another video. We're going to be washing the truck up, getting her cleaned up so we can see what she looks like the first time. With the shell on, white, truck cleaned up, glossed up looking. Uh, cannot put any type of wax or sealants or ceramic coats on the paint. Probably going to wait about a month just so the paint can fully cure. It can uh, pretty much detox itself, so that way it looks and it holds up and is durable. Um, but yeah, man, I love it. it looks awesome. 